let's move to another important topic and today we are going to discuss about reverse transcription as the name suggests when we talk about transcription in transcription from one of the strand of dna we are going to form rna okay but in case of reverse transcription from a single stranded rna we are going to generate a single stranded dna so dna to rna is a very common process and we call it transcription but here from rna we are going to form dna and that's why the process is called reverse transcription because it is the reverse of transcription okay and as we have seen from dna to rna we require rna polymerase enzyme but from rna to dna we require an enzyme called reverse transcriptase which is generally referred as rt that is reverse transcriptase okay and how actually the reverse transcriptase is going to work that we are going to see today to explain this process of reverse transcription and the mechanism how reverse transcriptase works we are going to take an example of hiv virus that is the human immune deficient virus hiv is a retrovirus because reverse transcriptase okay is present in retroviruses or in other words i can say retroviruses which are having rna single stranded rna as genetic material they are having an enzyme reverse transcriptase with them okay and this reverse transcriptase is having three different major activities first rna dependent dna polymerase activity okay so from rna this reverse transcriptase is going to form dna which we have discussed just now but other than this it also has rna's h activity what is rna's h suppose this is a dna dna strand single stranded dna and this is its complementary single stranded rna okay then this is an rna dna hybrid correct dna rna hybrid is there and on this hybrid can act this rna's h that's why the h stands for hybrid okay so the rna is h the h stands for hybrid but out of this dna rna hybrid it is going to cleave only rna part and not the dna part because the name is rna means only rna will be degraded and not the dna and that's why it's rna but in h hybrid out of the rna dna hybrid it will only cleave rna and that's why the dna strand will remain as it is this is the second activity which is present in retrovirus containing enzyme reverse transcriptase third dna dependent dna polymerase activity nothing but the normal dna polymerase which is involved in dna replication we have seen in dna replication that on dna we form another dna strand and this will takes place with the help of dna polymerase and that's why it has that normal dna dependent dna polymerase activity also and that's why this reverse transcriptase is a multi enzyme complex reason it is having these three major activities keep in mind according to the latest research it has been seen that certain retroviruses are having more than three activities also okay but the perfect activity okay is not fixed because it is varying from some retroviruses to retroviruses and other than that the most important thing is this rna dependent dna polymerase activity is having high error rate it's an error prone process why the reason is no uh, a repair system is there which can repair such 
ओके प्रोसेस दैट इज आरएनए डिपेंडेंट डीएनए पॉलीमरेज क्लियर ये जब होगा मतलब सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए पे सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए बन रहा है तो इस प्रोसेस में जो मिस्टेक्स होंगी मिसमैच होंगे ओके म्यूटेशंस होंगे कोई चेंजेस होंगे उनको रिपेयर करने के लिए यू डोंट हैव एनी रिपेयर सिस्टम एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस एरर प्रोन इट्स हैविंग हाई एरर रेट ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट व्हाट रिवर्स ट्रांसलेटेस एंड दिस वाज फर्स्ट टाइम discovered and explained properly by Howard Timmy and David Baltimore in 1970 independently and that's why they have been awarded Nobel Prize in 1975 of physiology and medicine now generally because virus is a very small particle and that's why it is seen that the single stranded rna genome is approximately only 10000 nucleotides long okay means it's not a very big type of rna it's just approximately 7 10 10000 nucleotides long again it is going to vary from retrovirus to retrovirus so can't say that if hiv is having 10000 nucleotide so exactly other retroviruses are also having 10000 nucleotide no it's not okay so it will vary but to express what is actually reverse transcription is okay we are going to take an example of hiv that is human immune deficient virus as the name suggests it's going to infect humans okay immune deficient because once it will infect the immune deficiency will take place means the immunity will go down and because of lack of mainly the acquired immunity because cd4 positive th lymphocytes are the main concrete pillars of the acquired immunity and as the cd4 counts will go down reason hiv sirf cd4 positive th lymphocytes ko hi infect karta hai and that's why these cd4 positive th lymphocytes will go on decreasing in counts ओके okay? और इनका काउंट कम हो गया तो ये टीएच लिम्फोसाइट्स आर द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ साइटोवाइन एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज द साइटोवाइन लेवल इंपॉर्टेंट साइटोवाइन विच आर विच आर मेंटेन अवर इम्यूनिटी ओके द एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनिटी स्पेशली दे विल गो डाउन एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज नाउ द एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनिटी विल गो डाउन एंड दैट्स वाई द डिसीज इज एड्स एक्वायर्ड इम्यून डिफिशियंसी सिंड्रोम ओके सो how actually hiv is going to enter that we are going to see okay and how reverse transcription okay is going to help hiv to grow inside the th lymphocyte which are cd4 positive okay look at it this is a t helper lymphocyte or t helper lymphocyte ka identity hai cd4 receptors which are present on its membrane ओके बट सीडी फोर रिसेप्टर के साथ साथ देर आर सम को रिसेप्टर्स आर आल्सो देयर विच आर एंगेज ओके इन दिस एंट्री ऑफ एच आई वी ओके और इन को रिसेप्टर में सी सी आर फाइव और सी एक्स सी आर फोर एंड सम अदर को रिसेप्टर्स आर देयर दीज आर द मेन वर्स इसके साथ कुछ और भी को रिसेप्टर्स है बट सीडी फोर इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ HIV, uh, just a minute. Uh, this is the HIV virus, okay? And you can see that this HIV virus is having certain glycoproteins on its surface, okay? I am showing the HIV to be actually in front. If this is your uh, Th lymphocyte, then HIV will be equivalent to a very small dot in front of this, okay? Or much less than that, okay? In front of this cell, okay? But I am showing it. comparatively bigger okay so that you should understand now iske surface pe jo pegs jaise structure dikh rahe which are glycoproteins okay maine usme se ek glycoprotein ko bada karke dikha raha hai okay so that you should understand it properly all this ye jo samne wala portion hai this globular portion is gp120 glycoprotein 120 and iske piche jo stick hai this stick is gp41 okay other than that some other Clear components might be present in HIV's outer envelope. Okay, but these are the main one. And actually, the one which is going to bind to CD4 receptor is GP120. So, if this is your 
CD4 receptor and this is GP120, they, they perfectly bind each other. Okay, especially human CD4 receptor. Okay, this GP120 is perfectly made to match to bind to this GP, uh, this CD4 receptor, human CD4 receptor. Okay, it cannot bind to any other CD4 receptor of any other organism. Okay, and that's why human immune deficient virus means it will only infect humans. Now, other than that, when it will bind to this CD4 receptor, after binding, okay, these GP that is glycoprotein molecules will start becoming flexible. Okay, in key rigidity loss to jati hai, and they start becoming flexible. Ek bar ye flexible hona shuru hua, to ye GP41 fold hone lagta hai. Once it will fold, it will bring this viral particle close to the membrane. Okay, reason clear in ke binding hone ke baad GP41 mein kuch conformational changes huye, making them more flexible, bringing this viral particle close to the TH lymphocyte that is CD4 lymphocyte and result of this is same yehi hai TH lymphocyte or ab yehi viral particle kyunki inke vich receptors fold ho gaye to they will come close okay keep in mind sir CD4 or GP120 inka hi interaction nahi hota other than them jo CCR5 CXCR4 these co receptors are present they also interact with the GP120 and GP41 Okay, or ye bhi responsible hai to bring this viral particle close to the TH lymphocyte. Okay, consider the inke which ke ye receptors fold okay, bringing this viral particle close to TH, and result of this is their membranes will fuse. Actually, virus don't have membrane, but we will say that the viral coat and cellular membrane will fuse, and result of this is this virus which is having two copies of single stranded RNA keep in mind two copies of single stranded RNA so this single stranded RNA or this single stranded RNA hi hai. but instead of one it has two copies that's it okay of the same single stranded RNA now other than that this virus is having reverse transcriptase enzyme it is having protease enzyme and it is having integrase enzyme these three viral proteins or enzymes reverse transcriptase, protease and integrase along with these two copies of single stranded RNA will enter in this TH lymphocyte CD4 positive TH lymphocyte so now you have viral RNA two copies of it okay reverse transcriptase protease and integrase in your cell that is CD4 positive TH lymphocyte Correct. Now, with the help of reverse transcriptase, okay, Hamare cell ke under, with the help of reverse transcriptase, the single stranded RNA, jo hai, okay, this is your RNA, viral RNA, okay, that will get converted into what? Single stranded DNA, or it will be used as a template. It will be used as a template to for a single stranded DNA and that's why it is RNA dependent DNA polymerase activity so the single stranded DNA is for what we have is RNA dependent DNA polymerase activity which is present in reverse transcriptase next RNA's H activity and that's why out of this RNA DNA hybrid yeah, is RNA go degraded if this RNA will get degraded what will remain is just single stranded DNA Correct? Out of the RNA DNA hybrid, what will remain is just single stranded DNA because RNA DNA hybrid may say sir RNA break Y. That's why it is RNA's H activity. And now on this single stranded DNA, with the help of DNA dependent DNA polymers activity, which is also present in same enzyme reverse transcriptase, it will form a double stranded DNA. This is double stranded DNA, which is formed. Correct? Now this, these three are the main roles of reverse transcriptase. Now we will come into the action. The second enzyme. Okay. And that enzyme is integrase. And what this integrase is going to do? It will cut 
the threaded end of this double stranded DNA. Okay, the double stranded DNA which is just now formed. अभी अभी जो बनाया है रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज है उसके थ्रीडेशन को एक थोड़ा सा कट करता है एंड कन्वर्ट इट टू कोहेसिव एंड्स ये जो ब्लंट एंड्स है इनमें से क्लियर जो भी थ्रीडेशन होगा उसको ये थोड़ा कट करेगा लाइक दिस ओके इट वोंट कट फाइव डैश इट विल कट ओनली थ्री डैश तो अब क्लियर दिस एंड इज योर थ्री डैश एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो थ्री डैश एंड सो दिस इज फाइव डैश एंड दिस इज फाइव डैश ओके Now these type of ends are called cohesive ends. Okay, so अगर दोनों strand एक ही length के हैं तो we call them blunt ends. Okay, but out of that अगर एक strand को cut किया गया, okay, and you form ends like this. These are called cohesive ends. Okay, so cohesive ends are formed by integrase and integrase he खुद Insert at specific site in the host DNA. जो host का DNA है, okay, उस host के DNA में इस cohesive end वाले double stranded DNA को, जो कि viral का genome है, उसको ये integrate करेगा, insert करेगा, okay? So suppose this host that is Th lymphocyte, जिस किसी human being का है, if this is its DNA, then the integrase itself will bring this double stranded DNA. And insert it by producing certain cuts in the DNA. Insert this DNA, okay, into the host DNA. Viral DNA or viral genome is so small. Just now we have discussed, okay, that if it will get inserted in the human genome or host genome, it will hardly matter. No one will even understand that this human big DNA is having. Small part of okay viral DNA, and that's why okay this viral DNA will get integrated or inserted inside. Correct. Now after that, what will happen? The virus that DNA is inside your DNA, it will start showing transcription with the help of RNA polymerase or RNA polymerase. Who is it? Our RNA polymerase. And our RNA polymerase, human RNA polymerase, will start forming single-stranded RNA on this. And these single-stranded RNA are what? And they are nothing but the viral genome. On this RNA will directly bind the ribosomes. We are very familiar with what the ribosomes are going to do. They are going to perform translation, and that's why they will form certain proteins, chain of amino acids. Okay, but. They will form quite big chain of amino acids. That is big polypeptides. Okay, and that's why we require an another enzyme, protease. What this protease is going to do? Protease will cut and modify the protein. See, जो इतना बड़ा long chain of polypeptide बना है, एक ही long, इसको protease बीच-बीच में ऐसे आके cut करेंगे. And that's why what protease will do? ये बीच-बीच में से इसको आके कट करेंगे एंड ये कट करने के बाद ये जो छोटे छोटे प्रोटीन्स बने हैं दिस विल फोल्ड ओके एंड सम ऑफ देम विल फॉर्म रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज अदर विल फॉर्म इंटीग्रेस अदर विल फॉर्म प्रोटीन्स इटसेल्फ अदर विल फॉर्म वायरल कोर प्रोटीन्स ओके जो कोर प्रोटीन्स हैं ओके वो सब बनाए जाएं करेक्ट अ प्रोट जो कोट है उसका कोट प्रोटीन्स दे ऑल विल बी फॉर by cutting that long polypeptide into smaller and each one will fold into a different protein. Now, single stranded RNA, but the viral genome, with these proteins combinedly, okay, will form viral particle. But the pure virus will become. Kis ke andar banega? It will be synthesized inside the Th lymphocytes. Nothing but lytic cycle. Why lytic cycle? Actually, lytic cycle uh, takes place in when uh, any bacteriophage will infect a bacteria. We call it lytic cycle, correct? But I'm saying using the same word lytic cycle here. Reason is very simple. ये वायरस का आरएनए आने के बाद, it will dominate this cell. और वो इस सेल का कुछ नहीं चलने देगा. वो खुद के ही प्रोटीन्स इतने ज्यादा बनाएगा खुद के आरएनए इतने ज्यादा बनाएगा दैट इनसाइड वन टीएच लिम्फोसाइट वन मिलियन 
viruses can be formed. Okay, this is in case of HIV, of course, yeah, baki retroviruses can be but in case of HIV, this is the mode of action. Or bad me, this cell will die. And that's why this 1 million HIV will come out of this TH lymphocyte. And now they will start infecting the other TH lymphocytes. Okay. In the body of this person or host. A result of this is so many HIV. Okay. Their infection will keep on increasing. Correct. A time will come. When the number of CD4 positive TH lymphocyte formation will become much lower than the TH lymphocyte clear uh, uh, death. The death rate will be much more than the clear uh, uh, generation rate. And result of this is, this is how immunodeficiency will start. The acquired immunodeficiency will start. This is about what? The reverse transcription. Okay. And what we are going to today right now is how RNA dependent DNA synthesis okay, and RNA's H activity and DNA dependent DNA synthesis is going to take place. That actual process is the reverse transcription. But we have taken a look of it through the HIV infection. Correct? Now let's move to the actual process. Okay. Now we have just seen Retrovirus को तुम्हारे सेल के अंदर एंट्री चाहिए ये ऐसे उसको मिली है करेक्ट और उसका सिंगल चैनल आरएनए इज नाउ प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द होस्ट सेल दैट इज CD4 पॉजिटिव टीएच लिम्फोसाइट ये उसका सिंगल चैनल आरएनए ओके दिस इज द सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड आरएनए ओके रेट्रोवायरल जीनोम आरएनए सिंगल चैनल and is genome ko thoda agar hum log thread se dekhe this is the five dash end this is the three dash end correct on both the side you have certain repeat sequences okay the repeat sequences because they are present on both five dash and three dash end then there is the upstream region towards the five dash end u5 and upstream region towards the three dash end u3 and this is a pbs region which is also called primer binding site why primer binding site? Because actually here is going to bind the primer. Okay, we will see it in detail. After PBS, there is a GAG, Paul, and EMB. These three major okay genes. Actually, these are I can call them as combination of genes. Reason: this each one can form many proteins. That's why. Okay, and this GAG, Paul, and EMB are referred as coding region okay gag is mainly going to okay for the various it's actually a multi-protein multi-protein means it will form many proteins and these will lead to formation of many proteins inside hiv okay paul will form reverse transcriptase that is rna dependent dna polymerase dna dependent dna polymerase all these activities will be present in this Paul region, okay, this will form reverse transcriptase and ENV is going to form the enveloper. The viral enveloper will be mainly formed by this ENV. It will also lead to formation of various proteins, okay. Keep in mind, ye humne HIV ke likhe hai. HIV mein GAC, Paul or ENV aise teen major regions se. But retroviruses to retroviruses, again mainne bataya that any other retrovirus might have any other gene also. Okay, so they might vary. Okay, this is a fourth gene we can be clear I think it is well possible. Okay, now this is your retroviral genome RNA, and as we are all are well familiar, if you have RNA dependent DNA polymerase or DNA dependent DNA polymerase activity, both of them are what these both are DNA polymerase activities. Correct? And no known DNA polymerase can itself start new strand synthesis. Koi bhi DNA polymerase khud se okay naya strand synthesis start nahi kar sakta. It will always require a primer. And in our body humans may there is a lysine tRNA present, okay? It's our cellular tRNA, which is responsible for lysine. 
and when this lysine will bind to this TR, then we call it lysine TR. Correct? This is the combination. But this TRNA, lysine TRNA, when it is free, this lysine TRNA acts as a primer. Because in every TRNA you have an elongated 3 dash N. This is a clover leaf type of model. You have 5 dash N and this elongated 3 dash N is also present, which is free. Okay, and this free elongated 3 dash A has a sequence which is exactly complementary. Kulsa lysine ke liye jo TRNA, jo lysine ko carry karne wala protein synthesis mein, wo, because we have many such RNA, usme se ek koi bhi free TRNA, jiska 3 dash A khali hai, okay, elongated hai, uska ye sequence is exactly complementary to the previous region. Primer binding site in Retroviral genome RNA and that's why this RNA, TRNA ka ye end and this RNA will form here exactly complementary base pairing. Now, as soon as this complementary base pairing will take place, immediately this open end of TRNA will act as a primer. Primer will get it. Sir, isko aage extend karna hai and reverse transcriptase with its RNA dependent DNA polymerase activity okay will start the polymerization of DNA on it so this extend why is DNA hai, then this part is RNA correct and that's why this part is DNA which will copy U5 region and R region okay and we are very familiar polymerization DNA replication or DNA synthesis will always take us from 5 dash towards 3 dash Correct. After that, जैसे आपका reverse transcriptase यहाँ से बाहर निकला, RNA dependent DNA polymers activity दिखा के, it will show some conformational changes and it will degrade that part of the RNA genome, okay, which is copied. जिसका copy हो गया, उसको cut करो. काम खत्म, आदमी खत्म, okay? And next one, इतने region का काम हो गया, that is degraded. Now, here a phenomenon called first jump takes place. Why it is called first jump? The reason is this R and this R regions are also complementary to each other. And that's why because of a jerk by reverse transcriptase, ye itna RNA se nikal jata hai and it will go and bind in this area like this. Okay, and here R R base pairing will take place. Again, the RNA dependent DNA polymerase activity will come into action and wo yahan se 5 dash to 3 dash ye banana shuru kar degi to ye yahan se clear yahan tak DNA ban chuka hai aapka bacha hua part RNA ka hai okay and clear almost complete genome is copied ab agar pura genome copy ho gaya to is bache hue RNA ka koi kaam nahi hai and that's why it is degraded by again RNAs H activity of reverse transcriptase itself cut to usne pura cut kar dena chahiye tha but it is well known to reverse transcriptase ki usko dna dependent dna polymerase activity bhi karna hai aur agar usko dna ke upar dna banana hai to uske liye bhi it will require a primer correct and that's why wo isko complete degrade nahi karta is region ka chhota sa portion rakh deta hai Okay, this region is generally lies in the coding region. But the region GAT, POL, or EMV hai. Okay, unme se kuch part ko wo chhod deta hai. Coding region me se. And that's why this small RNA strand, because ye aapka jo green color ka hai, that is DNA. This is a small RNA strand. It will act as a primer for DNA dependent DNA polymerase activity. And that's why 5 dash to dash it is elongated in this way. So, this, okay, is how it is extended, okay, and U3R and U5 are also copied along with this PBS region, which is present in RNA, okay, that is also copied, correct, well, what is there is now, this region, now, you can break even this part, okay, and that's why again RNA's H activity will clue this part of the RNA, Okay, and what remains is this is also a DNA 
and this is also DNA and you can see this tRNA which acts as a primer okay after its entry will also get degraded will be degraded okay now what remains in both are the DNA okay here another phenomenon that is second jump takes place second jump मतलब जैसे फर्स्ट जंप में हमने देखा दैट दिस आर विल कम एंड बाइट हियर ओके दिस इज फर्स्ट जंप एग्जैक्टली सेकंड जंप यहां होने वाला है ओके ये पीबीएस रीजन और ये पीबीएस रीजन ये ये इतना डीएनए निकल के यहां पे बाइट हो जाएगा एंड पीबीएस पीबीएस आर एग्जैक्टली कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री ऑफ इच अदर एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस विल बाइट नाउ दिस इज आल्सो सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए फ्रॉम 5' टू 3' अनदर सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए फ्रॉम 5' टू 3' एंड दैट्स व्हाई DNA dependent DNA polymers activity will extend this up to this and this up to this in this way comparatively more long double stranded DNA is formed why comparatively more long because in that U3 region is two times U5 region is two times when in your original single stranded RNA genome in HIV U5 और U3 एक एक ही बार है बट इसमें ये कंपेरेटिवली दो बार आ गए इसीलिए इट विल बी अलबिट मोर लॉन्ग दैट कंपेयर टू द ओरिजिनल आर एन एचिन बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज दिस कोडिंग रीजन जिसमें गैप पॉल ई एन बी और एक हाथ दूसरा भी जीन हो सकता है इनकेस ऑफ एनी अदर रेटर वायरस दीज आर प्रेजेंट एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वॉट इट इज योर डबल स्ट्रैंडेड डी एन ए आपका डबल स्टैंडर्ड बनके डीएनए बनके रेडी है नाउ हु विल कम इनटू एक्शन एज डिस्कस इंटीग्रेस एंड व्हाट इंटीग्रेस विल डू इंटीग्रेस इस थ्री डैश के इनको और इस थ्री डैश इनको ट्रिम करेगा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ये कोहेजिव एंड्स बन जाएंगे एंड इंटीग्रेस इटसेल्फ विल कट इन द होस्ट जीनो और होस्ट जीनो में इसको एक जगह पे जाके इंसर्ट करवा देंगे इंटीग्रेट करवा देंगे दैट्स व्हाट द नेम इज इंटीग्रेट्स एंड After that, we are well familiar. What will happen? The transcription forming many single-stranded RNA genome translation on this RNA to form many viral proteins, and proteins will cut and give them the proper okay size, shape, and so that they will fold and form the active proteins of virus. Single-stranded RNA with these proteins. Will assemble to form new retrovirus, correct? Which are ready to infect other, okay, uh, uh, Th lymphocytes. This is in case of HIV, but every retrovirus will vary, okay? With respect to that, it will start like infecting others, correct? This is about what the process of reverse transcription, okay? And just now, what we have discussed is in case of HIV, okay? So this is all about reverse transcription and reverse transcriptase. Now, the enzyme reverse transcriptase is also used in a technique or a technology called cDNA technology. What is cDNA is complementary DNA because this double stranded DNA which we have formed, okay, is called cDNA. That is complementary DNA. Because it is complementary. It is complementary to your RNA, okay? So single stranded RNA, से जब ऐसा double stranded DNA हम लोग बनाते हैं, we call this DNA as cDNA, complementary DNA, okay? And in cDNA technology, mainly हम लोग RNA से double stranded DNA बनाने में reverse transcriptase, isolated reverse transcriptase का use करते हैं. In most of the eukaryotes, okay, telomerase an enzyme telomerase is present okay telomerase as the name suggests wo jo hamare chromosome ke end se dna ke end se telomeres unko replicate karne ka kaam karta hai okay it's having its specific function but is telomerase ke andar okay activity present rehti hai just like reverse transcription ye rna se dna bana sakta hai okay Clear? What the reverse transcription test activity is present in humans also in the form of telomerase enzyme. Okay? Isilie telomerase ko 
टर्मिनल ट्रांसफरेज एंजाइम भी कहा जाता है ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्शन थैंक यू